Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we are still climbing Thwomp Volcano. Uh, like I said in the last part, this really is uh, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, areas in the entire game. Uh, mainly because of the later sections of this world, as well as um, the boss that we'll end up fighting. Although you could probably guess it, given the circumstances. However, if not, then, well, just wait patiently. We'll get there in another part or two. Uh, it's a pretty long area. The areas, like I said earlier, quite a, part, a few parts ago, the areas really start to get pretty long. Like, they take multiple maps. Instead of just one, maybe two, like they used to, they take three, maybe even four. Also, I want to head down here to see what's over here, because there's a spring there, I can see that. But, but what's this? Oh. It's absolutely nothing. Awesome. I just wasted my time. Uh, most likely. Yeah, I definitely wasted my time. Good job, mate. Okay, let's go squish the babies again, because they are made out of elastic and rubber, and are able to do that, totally. Oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead, head on up here. When you hit a spring, your babies will automatically grow back, so they actually... Uh, can go up there for whatever reason, I don't really know, but whatever. Go ahead, hit that block down there. I have no idea what's on that little ledge there, I think it's nothing. Come on, there we go, we got it lined up, we can roll on across, and there we go, we hit the button, and the thwomp's mouth opens. Did I mention that there is a lot of thwomps here? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, the walls are made out of them. So there you go. And there we go, we have our bros back, and that's it for this map. Although there is that pipe down there, that's actually a shortcut. Yeah, the worlds are so long that they actually started adding in shortcuts, although there was one in Glitz Desert, uh, from the underground to the regular area, so there you go. Okay, here we have another new enemy coming up right here. It's Toad, or rather, it's a, a Tanuki-type thing. But I'm going to show what they're like later when I can get a better battle of them. Because if I remember correctly, that was a single one, and I killed him rather quickly. So we'll get to him soon enough. Um, however, uh, PETA, want to say anything about this? Me killing t what looked to be Tanukis or something like that? Or what are supposed to be based on Tanukis? I don't know. If anybody doesn't remember, uh, PETA got rather angry at Super Mario 3D Land because uh, Mario would be wearing Tanuki's fur after he got the leaf power up. Um, they were like, it promotes wearing fur and stuff like that. Even though you pick up a leaf, you are now in an animal costume and can hover. What, what, what's so wrong with that? I don't see... Uh, I can kind of see how they got kind of mad about it. But how they got completely up in arms about it, pretty much. I don't get it. Oh well. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. It's only 20 coins. As long as you're being blown up by one of those air things, your baby pancake's power-up won't run out uh, like it did right then. You'll... The counter will still be going, and... Um, where am I going? Oh, well, going back here to meet the bros. But your counter will still be going, but as long as you are in there, you won't run out. However, as soon as you step out, most likely you'll start flashing immediately. So you want to be really careful after a while. Okay, so let's continue on this way. Hopefully I didn't cut out all the Tanuki-type battles. I mean, I have to show one eventually. Here's a different new enemy. However, it is only a recolor of the past enemy, the Coconutter. Uh, this is the Red Coconutter. More HP, faster, and all of its attacks and stuff. It could throw multiple spears, I think, or blow out multiple darts, but not that bad. Really only want to watch out for when they're sticking their spear up in the air, because if you don't kill them, then they're going to use Rain Dance and uh, power up all their water-type moves and increase the speed of those with Swift Sim. I mean, they're going to... Uh, heal themselves and most likely all their allies as well. I don't know exactly. I never really let them use it. So there you go uh, Yeah, just kind of watch out for that and there we go battle one Nothing really all too different from the original coconutters though. So there you go. Just more powerful variants 
I mean, every RPG has its recolors and stuff just to make what would be 100 monsters more like 300. Um, but this game doesn't really do that all that much. I think there are only like five different recolors. But then again, there are only like 30 to 40 different enemies in this game, I'd say. Maybe 50 tops. I honestly have no idea, but there aren't that many comparatively. But, you know, this isn't entirely an RPG. It's meant to be other things as well. Also, like the wind, as long as you're under one of those low passages, you won't run out of the thing either. So you're safe as long as you're either being blown up by the wind, or you... Well, I almost got hit by that spear. Or you just happen to... Uh, what's the word? Or you happen to be under one of those low passageways. Okay, so there we go. We, there is another bean halfway through there, but I'm more interested in that question block. So I think I'm actually going to skip this bean right here. Right there, because it stops me from being able to progress. And, uh, no, no, no I'm not. Let's go ahead and grab it. Get all of the beans. Oh, uh, yeah. They are going to actually be really useful coming up. Oh, I landed on that platform anyways. Nice. Okay, so we got everything here. Uh, that looks like a counter badge or something like that. Again, I can't really read what's on the bottom screen. Well, the bottom portion of the bottom screen. So that's kind of a poor thing, but oh well. But I think it said counter badge and it has something to do with counter attack damage. Not going to use it though, because whatever. Honestly, badges aren't that great other than for my boss destroying strategy. Um, yeah, it was the counter badge. Um, increased damage when you do counterattacks. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Not that great. I guess it could be, uh, depending, but not that great, relatively. None of the badges really are, still. I mean, no, a lot of them are, like, certain situation type things. Oh well. Okay, let's go ahead, have our babies go into pancake form. And we have this switch here. Oh, great, one of these. Okay, that's about all that I'm going to grab. See, what I, what did I tell you? You can use that wind to have baby pancakes last effectively however long you want it to. Okay. Oh god, I'm going to run out of it. Yep, just ran out of it. Okay, let's see if I can- Oh, I didn't make it to the pink thing. Or the pink block, or any of the other ones for that matter. So let's do this again. Also, there's a red and black toad. Uh, there. Kind of interesting. It's a volcano toad. Uh, so it's kind of neat. However, not all that important. Just another NPC that I'll never talk to, because I already know what I'm doing. Also, the baby pancakes power-up is going to run out during this cutscene. Which is one kind of poor thing here, is that the... Oh, I thought Luigi made that jump for a second. Baby Luigi, rather. But the baby pancakes power-up actually does run out during cutscenes and stuff like that, as we've seen. So let's try a third time just to get these last couple of items. Uh, maybe. And there, okay, there's a Luigi block, which contains a 1-up super. And right here, all the way down here. Wow, all the way down here. We have 10 coins. Totally worth it. Completely. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Not even my sarcasm. In fact, let, let my sarcasm do all the talking. Okay, but there you go. Wow, we're almost done with this map too. I mean, these rooms aren't that large. It's mainly just all of the thwomp battles that make this area longer. Also, we can't reach that. We'll come back down there for, for that later, uh, soon enough. But it's mainly the thwomp battles here that make the battle take a while. Or that, that make the maps take a while, but since I'm cutting almost all of those out, no, nothing really to worry about here. However, we do have yet another one of these. Can I break 30? Maybe. I don't think I actually do ever. I think 30 is the highest that I ever get. Either because time runs out, or I just screw up. But, oh well. You just don't want to, um, hit the block too early, as the orb is traveling, I do that a couple times, and yet again, baby Luigi messes up, good job, man, good job, but you don't want to anticipate the block going to a certain person, and then miss it, also, do I, did I seriously, like, accidentally cut out all tanuki battles, 
I'm starting to become more sure that I actually did that. Also, I'm pretty sure I could have just jumped up there normally. I don't know. But I'm starting to think that I accidentally cut out all the Tanuki battles. Um, oh, no, here we go. Okay, proving myself wrong within five seconds. Okay, here we go. They're not called Tanukis, by the way. They're called Tanumbuzz. So slightly different. But when they jump in the air, they will become either that balloon, which will fly shortly, or rather fly slowly, and, or they could become a gigantic thwomp, which will fall really quickly. Either way, you want to hammer them and kill them, or rather just counterattack. Or they could also turn into a spell, a spell, a shell, and spin around you, kind of like the RC car type thing, or like one of the Koopalings from the last game. I forget which one did that. I never knew the Koopalings' names, so, oh well. I mean, I know all the names, I just don't know which is which. Also, if I could figure out how to do this. Well, I'm trying to get hit by the spear so I can get all of my bros, both big and baby, to participate in this battle, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So the babies are going to take them out, out on their own. They're all grown up now. And we're going to quickly heal up. Kind of bothering me that they aren't fully healed, but I don't want to waste an item just to heal two points of damage. Okay, so there we go. There's our babies. Get the bros across. And up into the next screen. Although it is another... Oh, oh, oops. Aww, I missed that item block. Oh, well, actually, I think you get that item block a different way. Maybe. Oh, no, what I ended up doing is kind of weird. But I had the babies stay here so that they could hit the... Oh, yeah, there is this block, though. Which contains block trousers. Uh, very nice hidden item, I do believe. And then here's this crappy one with a couple coins. I actually found those block trousers on accident, so I'm interested as to what they'll do. Huge increase to defense. Going to give that to Luigi, since none of his stats decrease because of it. Although speed and... Um, stash don't matter that much, but still. Uh, better to have one bro w raise their stats rather than have one bro raise and decrease some stats, I think. Okay, so... Oh, there's a random floating thwomp. Good ch good thing he didn't smash down and kill us. He appears to be a fake one, but still, like, thwomps everywhere. My god. Okay, and there's a giant metallic egad head on the right side of the map. Oh god, I am super worried right now. What is going on? Okay, well, we can head on in here. We have yet another one of those wind things, but I think there are actually more than one this time. Or something like that. No, maybe not. Okay, so let's go ahead, have them move up there. And here's the moving cloud, which I missed. Awesome. Where do I go? I was actually kind of confused at this point as to what I was supposed to do. Uh, so there you go. Let's go ahead, activate that wind again, see if I can figure it out. Uh, maybe... There we go, I'm... Oh, I fell off the cloud. Oh, well, I can still get that Ultra Drop right there. There's also something else lower down there. Why did I do that? Okay, so it's time to go squish them again and see if I can actually figure it out this time, slash not fail horribly. We shall see. Uh, probably not, though. I think that this is actually the screen that I just gave up and didn't get all the treasures for because I was getting overly annoyed with this whole thing. Okay, so let's see if I can actually time this. There we go. Now I got it. And jump across, and jump across, and oh look, we actually had to do that, although I'm so squished that I can barely not reach that question block, or exclamation block, rather. But there we go, we've just opened up the way. Well, let's just see if I can- oh yeah, I did get that item, sweet. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that- oh, there's still that. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure I just said screw it to that. Yeah, I did. And we're moving on now. Okay, so, good job me. Saving a whole 30 seconds, oh yeah. Okay, so for this one, you could either have the two baby pancake their way through, or you could probably also have them just use these uh, baby spin to get up there. I mean, I would imagine that both would work. It looks pr low enough. Um, but there you go. Also, as soon as I- oh, oops. 
I accidentally ran into that Tanumba with the baby, so I actually ran away for the first time in ever. And then I killed him with all four of my bros, so that they could all get experience. Which is nice. And there we go, we're now up to level 20, which is pretty awesome. We are getting very high stats, defense is kind of lacking though, compared to everything else. But then again, I don't get hit that much, at least I don't think. Uh, so there you go. Pretty big boosts though, because I haven't been boosting them. So there you go. And we got some rose flowers, which are nice, although I'm not really going to use them all too much now. Okay, what do we have going on here? Oh, hey, it's Princess Peach's crown. Okay, so we're on the right track here. Indeed, a picture of Princess Peach has entered your speech bubble. Good job. That's the closest thing that any of these four characters says to saying something, seriously. Oh, uh, that's not good. At all. Our timing is beyond horrible, indeed. But we will stop this volcano next time.